quite rough, quite steep. So keep posted. We are two here in the back. Thank you. Well done. So I'm riding here at the bottom with no gears. <laughs> we are. I made it. You made it, Nas. Arix, you are doing so well. This is a serious club. <laughs> this is serious, well, eh? You're riding, I'm walking. Yeah. You are doing so well, keep it up. some meetings with Pastor John with regards to the adventure components of the ministry and um, so we've got an exciting release today. In three weeks time we are going to be doing a three-day multi-cycling tour in Dalstrom. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about that? on the Thursday, the um, Friday and the Saturday and it looks like it's an estimated day some about 150 k's in total so surprise we are not going to be camping <laughs> So today we're going to buy up the entire store because we need to feed 50 people on this trip. Um, yeah. I'm not completely sure what we're going to buy. Uh, the list is with Kunin and we're going to meet them inside. So, see you there. <laughs> so what are we making, Sunday? We're peeling potatoes and carrots for Bally Jackie to make a potato and a carrot salad. Just wash it up to be clean. It's Tuesday the 5th of July. We are just finishing all the preparations before we head off tomorrow for Dolstra. We have majority of the things done. We are way ahead of our time and our schedule. Okay, Jess, tell me your joke. Okay, it's actually Kaylin's joke. So, but what do you, what do you get when you combine an angry sheep and an angry cow. A bad <laughs> My training strategy, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna ride my mountain bike as much as possible. <laughs> That's kind of it. So my training strategy is quite simple. Just spend lots of time on the trainer. So I'm following a training program now. So I'm basically just going on sharpening the sword until we're ready for some big heels. Um, we're going to Dali's! <laughs> Today is Wednesday, the 6th of July. It is Dolly's Day, we're traveling to there. Uh, getting everybody packed in and just the logistics of, last minute logistics are always a, always a thing. So uh, praise the Lord, we can do all things and we'll deal with every situation and um, it's gonna go well, it's gonna be great. Got energy bars, jelly babies, Biltong, mango, nuts, almonds, cashews, even got my granny's cookies, chop chip cookies. Uh, so I am loaded and ready to go. And then we're sort of planning to leave at about 12 o'clock to then all drive to Dali's. It's only about an hour and a half's drive. We're going to have some time in the word then and um, then we'll do a nice bra this evening. So it's just really getting ready for our first day on the road. So we really are expecting for all the good things that God's going to do today and over this full trip that we're away and blessings for those staying behind as well. How many bikes have we packed? We just finished loading 20 bikes into this trailer. I think we have a few more to load on bike racks, but we're going. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we cycle in Dalstrom. <laughs> wow. 
How's it guys? So uh, we've just arrived here at Elon's Cliff, uh, about 10 kilometers outside of Delstrom on a beautiful trout farm um, here in the highlands of Delstrom. And uh, we've, uh, yeah, we've nine cars been traveling in convoy from Woodbank. A nice short drive, only hour and a half today. And um, yeah, guys are busy and un unpacking as you can see. There's a whole lot of activity happening behind me, getting into the dorms, uh, finding their rooms, um, probably taking dabs on bunk beds. And um, yeah, we're just setting up our bunk kitchen and the, the kitchen will get going, start the browse shortly. Uh, we'll have a nice evening and hopefully some time in the wood to pass it on later. Welcome to the boys' dorm. The boys' dorm, this is where it's at. Uh, so we've got top bunk, we've got middle bunk or low bunk. Nice area here. There's Conrad, the man who's on the camera sleeping. I'm here. You can see it's got 15 mattresses for 15 boys. Yeah, this is basically it. There's even lockers for you. Bags are up ready. And here's the bathroom. Yeah, all good. And yeah, these are our bathrooms for the next two days. Sweet. That means it's. <laughs> so, uh, are you ready for me? So, um, it's our first morning. The night was amazing. <laughs> it was cold, so we kind of like all sat around the fire after dinner, during dinner, during and after dinner. And then we had a session with Pastor John, and then after the session, we went to bed. And when I got into my blankets, I was considerably warm and then it got to the morning hours and I wasn't that warm anymore. We had a great time so we left um, from here and it was misty 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 we kind of took a detour Matt and Sam didn't quite take us on the right path <laughs> but then we got up to the top and it started to the sun started to come it started to get lighter and it was just spectacular the mist was all setting over the mountains and um, we just had a beautiful morning up at the top and then the sun came out so it was beautiful. <laughs> We're having a lack of breakies now and then in probably about half an hour or so we're going on a beautiful mountain bike ride and all along the red right line 35 k's and then we'll be back this afternoon going to Daddy's for Harry's pancakes. Those bicycles look up on bay. And then after coming back from cycling we'll be going to Harry's pancakes. <laughs> Yeah, excited. Very excited. Uh, somewhat uh, in anticipation of the heels, but we'll do it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We drive. We ride with wisdom and understanding. We don't do crazy things. Thank you, Lord, for a great day and a great ride, great fellowship in Jesus' name. Amen. Morning guys, so this is the uh, first day of riding and we just started our ride, 35 k's to go, we're riding up a big hill with lots of riders around us, um, heading up for 35 k's. So we've started off this ride with a big hill, 3 kilometers uphill, I think most of our climbing happens today in the first 3 kilometers, so we've got a nice flat ride today. Uh, just get everybody reduced to it, get everybody into the swing of things with riding. Um, some guys are out front having some sprints and enjoying the beautiful scenery. So we're riding in, riding out of Elans, Elans Club, uh towards the big cell phone tower, towards Leidenberg, and then back again in a nice loop. So let's do this. Well done. Praise the Lord. 
Hello, everybody. See, we're the last sort of maybe 50 meters of the hill, but we're definitely nice and warm now. It's going good. <laughs> what's the What's the team morale like at the back here? Hey, I would say, uh, are we? It's encouraging. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we, we're always there, so now the morale is much better <laughs> than at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> Slow and steady. <laughs> it's steep, but it's, my, I think there's a steeper part coming now. So we'll see how it looks in the front. Um, I think there's easier things to do than this. <laughs> Guys climbing the probably the biggest hill they've ever climbed before in the beginning of the ride. So I really take my hat off to these guys. There they are. And doing a fantastic job. Almost there. Almost there, guys. But now that you're at the top. Now I can breathe again. Feeling, ah. feeling good. Yeah, hopefully there's not another hill that looks like that one. Okay guys, so that's the end of the first hill, first climb. Uh, it went nice and easy, wasn't too bad actually. Um, so yeah, the guys are coming through here. How was that hill? Young's first hill done. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Such a dog and ride, So, first you have to tell us if that was the hardest thing you've ever done. Yes, I don't think it was the hardest thing I've ever <laughs> done, but it did make me want to cry. So. The heels at the reserve is not no, nearly as hard didn't, as this It didn't this prepare one. us at all for this hill, at all. We're about 4.8 k's into our ride and we've had some, uh, some people that have conquered their biggest hill ever, probably their, their first hill and their biggest hill. So that's how we all start. Today we're doing two big climbs. Um, big climb for some people, uh, but it's going to be uh, pretty easy. We're riding along the ridge line now, just outside Dahlstrom. We're currently riding at an average speed of, after that hill, we're currently riding at an average speed of about 11 and a half k's an hour, so it's been a bit slow. Uh, but we'll pick that up now. Currently we, we're doing now about 20 k's an hour now in the bunch like this, and as you can see the bunch is uh, really riding nicely. We're looking forward to a great day out. Day one, day of three days of multi-day stage riding. This is the first for us, praise the Lord. Been a few tears, but everybody's really, really strong, digging deep to go the extra mile. So I kind of just hang around the back of the team. Some encouraging words are always needed when people find themselves in a tough spot. There's a lot of pushing happening as well at the back. When someone needs an extra hand, just that extra push gives a lot of extra effort. What do you think, Grandma? Bit of uh, is a bit thin up here. It's a bit thin, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. 1,900 meters. <laughs> yeah. You can actually feel. Yeah, you can feel it. A bit out of breath up here. So you can see past Caitlin there. There's a quite an amazing valley that just keeps on going and going and going. And uh, we we're just saying now um, that 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 mount, that uh, that valley actually runs from the beginning of our accommodation where we're staying tonight. All the way down to Pelurin's Cloth. If we look ahead, we can see these guys that six months ago never had bikes and uh, hardly actually even rode bikes. And um, it's quite amazing the physical journey that the last six months have been, eh, Luke? Yeah, you know, it's like someone I was saying that the faith that we've all put our, yeah, we've all put our faith out for bikes, but it just hasn't been the physical journey for the spiritual journey as well how the two tie in together so here we are arriving at the halfway point at the big uh, radio tower well welcome I so happy to talk to you from just outside of Dalston if you can see my watch here I'll tell you, my watch says it's 1,998 meters high. So it's heavy breathing climbing up the long hill that we all came up with. The guys, people, first time riders are doing amazingly well. It's such a vibe after coming up some steep hills. 
and uh, it's really, we're all having fun. I can say this, it's much easier to ride up these hills with friends around you, talking to you and having fun, even when you're breathing hard, than trying to do it on your own. So isn't that just the way it is with good fellowship and people that you are, that are blood-bought, covenant people that you can just ride with and have fun with and be conditioning and doing all those good things. And uh, well, some of the people here have never, have never ridden as far as they've ridden today and they've certainly not done the uphills. So that shows you that actually you can do a lot more than you actually think you can because there's others helping you. And so I, I just want to encourage everybody that's uh, listening to me now, get with the program, get on the Slipstream website or, you know, get with the w uh, Slipstream and let people help you walk, let them help you get fit. Uh, it's, it's always good to have a healthy lifestyle and to do healthy things and enjoy activities with different people. Of course, we're having some really great times of fellowship and sharing the word with each other and just having a great time. Well, thanks for listening to us and uh, bless you. Have a wonderful time. I'm feeling very strong. It reminds me of Race to the Sun, but it's just much better because after the Race to the Sun, I didn't want to get on my bike again. <laughs> Picked up the pace a little bit, and um, yeah, it's just stunning. But what goes down must go up again. Chat later. Between thing of a uh, bit of an incident with a slight fall, and all is well. Praise the Lord that the protecting angels was really, really protecting us as a group, and uh, all has been sorted out. And we are back on the bikes. Um, going, we went down quite a steep hill, as you may have seen on the last shot, and um, now we're climbing our last hill again. The guys over here, look how comfy they look. <laughs> really having good fun, pivotal. She's dancing all over her bike, I just saw it a minute ago. <laughs> We're heading back on the corrugations. And we got a huge herd of blessed buck running here next to us. Okay, focus on the focus on the bumps. On the bumps? <laughs> Oh, my bumps are doing fine. My bumps are doing fine, my bumps are doing fine. But it's a bit chilly now. Chilly? Yeah, the wind. Yeah, oh, it is a bit, eh? Yeah. This is their longest ride so far. I think before, their longest ride before this was 10 k's. Probably, I'd say 4 k's until we're home. And I'm riding here with Charlie who has ridden her longest distance ever. How far have you, what's your longest ride before this, Shadi? 11.6Ks. 11.6Ks? Yes. So we've just entered back into Ilian's Cliff and um, yeah, it's been a nice long ride for lots of people and some real boundaries broken today for uh, quite a quite a handful of, of cyclists, of new cyclists, which has been quite spectacular. So, you know, this is a, a time of where guys are really able to uh, break break their boundaries, set some new records, and um, really become overcomers in uh, in what they've what, they, what they've put themselves out to do, and what Pastor John has put before us. So, 
So praise the Lord for that. And uh, it's quite amazing. We're back, coming back down the big hill. Three k's all the way down to the bottom. And we've got uh, Jade and Nicola and Charlie and Meredith here and Taryn. And um, they've all finished the complete ride. Praise the Lord. How's the ride? It, was, it wasn't tough. It wasn't difficult. But I'm just really tired now. I think it's because I'm hungry. I need food. I need pancakes. 17 pancakes. <laughs> what do we do? So we just finished at Harry's Pancakes. We ate so much <laughs> and it was so good. And I don't know what we're doing now. I hope we can go shopping for a little bit. Otherwise I think we will be heading back home very soon. I feel so much better. I thought I'd have more energy but I do not have energy at all. And I just want to take a nap. Simon. Yeah, but Simon. <laughs> Simon. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing some bush mechanics here. And we are just. Um, Benin was complaining that she had no brakes today. I don't know why it's important, but anyway. So we thought we'd help her help her out. And. Trump need her brakes. After we had our lunch at Harry's Pancakes, we. We went shopping, <laughs> like typical tourists do. We went shopping and we came back here, had a quick shower, and we played a card game with Louis. He taught us a new game. Um, and then after that, um, we went into a session with Pastor John. That was really fun. That was, yeah, it was mind blowing. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> well, today we're riding. Well, they're riding. I'm not. <laughs> I'm in the. I'm in the support vehicle. Oh, we're having lunch on the road today. <laughs> well, um, we're having pasta. We're having pasta and chicken. It's nice. I, I know it's good. All right, guys. So here's our first hill of the day. Uh, leaving Lanska. Had a fantastic time here, two nights here, and we're busy climbing out the big hill again. Second time doing the big hill, and uh, I'm gonna ride past the convoy here and let you guys see how we roll. I want to say thank you, Thompson Smiley Foundation and DCRCA for uh, lending us this trailer, blessing us with it. We really appreciate it. We put 20 bikes in this trailer. Andre's driving here. Thanks, Andre. Dash. Guys driving nice and slowly, they really serve us beautifully driving this pace for seven hours of the day. It's really amazing. Thanks guys, all the kitchen stuff inside you, what our food, kind driving today. Yeah, it's really a blessing how people's hearts are to so seed into this program and this adventure that Pastor John has on his heart. Nathan driving the X-Trail. Oi, Frick. Mikey's no, but these look, these glasses look me, make me look like Terminator. Why well, I didn't wash your face this morning. <laughs> <laughs> we were at the back of the road. How's it going, your groups? So well. Thank you for asking. Yes, Mark, look at sport. Yeah. But having fun, having fun with you guys. Nice, we're riding at 20 k's an hour on the tops here. Nice 2000 meters. The guys are riding so nicely. We're having a really good, good ride here. Lots of dust. So, in the back of vehicles, what we're busy doing um, with Louis and Alrika today, we're having conversations. We found out interesting things about each other. We were eating, um, we had a lot of bulldog and he gave us some pistachios. I don't know where we are now, but um, 
<laughs> we're in this place, this beautiful place. Oh, we were jamming to music. Like, oh my goodness, heritage worship is amazing. And um, yeah, that's about it. We're on the toll road. We're owning the road here in this section. It's four four kilometers of, of downhill. Um, incredibly steep and very fast, so we're managing it very carefully. This is how the bunch is working. We've got Matt and Martin on the front, managing our speed. Starting at about 19 to 20 k's an hour, average now. Just coming across a, an old granite quarry here and the water is really blue, really amazing, quite beautiful. Hi. What'd you say, Kate? It's awesome. Your face is very dirty, it's a bit like your sister's face. I've got some white, a white strip over my eyes. <laughs> here we are. I made it! You made it, nice. To lunch. And as we ride over here, you'll see guys. There's a really cool uh, big blue lake here that's an old quarry. And this is where we are going to have lunch today. Um, it's about 41 kilometers into the ride that we are doing. The ride is currently, I think we're going to do about 58 kilometers to our next destination. It's amazing. It's an amazing experience here, like, to see all the, all God's creation. It's like, oh. Okay, rolling. Hey everybody, we're a couple of days into our little jaunt to Dahlstrom. On the way back to Middleburg, riding a couple of stages every day. Uh, today is about uh, 50 odd kilometers, 56 kilometers. And uh, it's been very dusty, very sandy, but we're here by this beautiful quarry with beautiful water. It's just a beautiful environment. I think it's, uh, it's uh, to coin Brother Jerry's phase, uh, phrase, and I can't uh, improve on it, is that we are truly having adventures in faith. We're having adventures and we're faithing it. And there's people that are breaking personal records, cycling more distance than they've ever done. And we're just growing spiritually and we're enjoying, enjoying each other's company and fellowship. But, and it's just an amazing time. Wish you were here. Next time, you can come with a bike, you can come with your legs, and we'll have some fun together. Praise the Lord. We continue our adventures in faith. Hello everyone, what a weekend in Dolstrom with Pastor mm. John and the My Exchanges. It's Glory. just full of God moments in the, in the nature, on the bicycles, of the bicycles. And I can really say, wish you were here. Yes, awesome experiences, holy conversations we're having, fun riding, yeah. awesome routes, scenic routes. Yes. It's just a privilege to be here. Absolutely. A glorious, glorious time to be alive and Amen. be on adventure with Pastor John and the My Exchanges. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah, holy conversations every single day and uh, all of us on the bike, off yeah. the bike and uh, um, having moments like this, lunchtime here in the nature yeah. and uh, um, I know Doing soon we will join it with all of you. Doing the trails, dodging the rock. <laughs> Yeah, on the sand, yes. but we are managing nicely. Yes, it's wonderful. See you soon. Bye. Why? One, two, three.
You're 19 today. Praise the Lord. I'm glad that we can celebrate your birthday yeah. together in this place. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Um, some rolling hills in the straight ahead of us there. And those are the hills we've got to climb to get out of this valley again. So, we've got some troopers here with us. Uh, Melissa's back on the bike again. Uh, Sunil's back on the bike with us. And we've uh, got a lovely group with us here, all riding nicely. Now we're back into the mountains again. And um, going up this pass, which is going to be quite a serious pass for many. Probably one to remember. It's definitely a learning curve <laughs> that we'll uh, just have to challenge ourselves with. And <laughs> be patient and you'll get to the top eventually. <laughs> awesome stuff. Well done Natasha. You guys, you guys are doing so well. Thank you. You are doing a fantastic job. Come across the first year my exchanger. You are doing so well. Thank you so this much. is a serious climb. Hey, you are doing so well. Taking it one step at a time. One step at a time. It's actually a lot of fun to do hills. I never thought I would say that. How are you guys going on the hill? We're going. You're going? We're going. And you're to? Yeah, doing well. It's just a bit challenging without a granny gear, but we're going. Where's your granny gear? It's not working. <laughs> First ride on a big hill like this. This must be your biggest hill ever. Uh -huh. Hey. Well done, Mane. You guys are champions, riding like absolute champions. We're walking up this hill. This <laughs> is a serious hill, eh? We are riding, I'm walking. Okay. Well done. And it will. Here's some proof of uh, the extreme adventuring that's going on here at the moment. I think we've come to the conclusion that Simon is not allowed to pick, to the, pick the roots anymore. <laughs> because what? it's a nonsense, this. <laughs> It's so sweet! I'm gonna win him, I'm gonna dice him now! He's gonna dice me? Yeah! Okay, come, let's go! Top of the hill! Woo! Go, Mane! Go, Mane! Race is on! King of the mountain, here she comes! Finish line! In the Blomakis, in the Proteas! Well done, look at this. Picking our wounds and some tired bodies after probably the biggest climb of the tour so far. So if you look in the distance behind the east of there, there's another hill that we still have to do. Matt, hello. there's a hill to come. I saw. I forgot to tell you guys about that. Matt, enjoy. Day two, done. And that's the end. Well done. Um, as you can see, 56 uh, um, kilometers today, starting nice and high in the highlands, heading down into a valley before climbing up 655 meters, climbing in total. How was today's ride? It was quite tough today. <laughs> a lot of uphills and a lot of technical roads and things. Um, but a lot of fun and enjoyed being out on the road and out with everybody. Um, yeah, pushing ourselves a bit. How was today's ride? Mm -hmm. It was your ride. It was so steep you could fall off backwards. So my highlight for this weekend was definitely yesterday when we went to go and swim in that blue, blue, blue dam. Um, that was so much fun. It was very cold, but it was it was so much fun. Um, my expect expectations for today's ride and what you are It's going to be tough because it's day three today. Um, there's a lot of hills that we need to climb and. Yes, and from the first ride to the third ride, I definitely can feel in my body that I've done a few kilometers. I'm stiff in places that I don't know I could be stiff in.
Thank you, Lord. We are so grateful for health. And we are so grateful for fellowship. And we are so thankful to you that you've given us this opportunity to enjoy life on the earth. Yes. And so we thank you for your abundance and your fullness that you have given us. All good things to enjoy. And so, Father, we pray as we drive today, as we ride today and drive today, we thank you that your word and the blood of Jesus surrounds us, forms a shield around us, protects us. No weapon formed against us prospers. We give your angels charge over us and we command them to go about their business of protecting us in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, to let us ride and, and, and drive with wisdom and understanding. So morning everyone, we are just about to head on of our last day, the third day of cycling and um, so just a quick highlight, I think it's really been the adventure aspect for me personally that's been the highlight. A lot of unknowns in terms of where we're camping or where we're staying in accommodation, kind of, it's things that in hindsight really make for a trip when it is a little bit tougher than you expect and things aren't very comfortable. I think it's a lot of growing points for everyone and so that's been a real highlight for me, just seeing everyone overcome those kind of challenges in with great joy. Um, so yeah, today's ride, the rides have been absolutely epic, tough but very good and also people are growing and reaching new um, capacities but I think for today's route we've, we've we found a new route, Simon found a new route that's not as hilly and so I think we're just looking forward to all riding in formation and in a bunch, that's something new that a lot of people have learned how to ride and so I'm just looking forward to more of that today. Cool, see you later. Alright guys, so morning, this is the start of our third day of cycling. Now we're turning right, turning right. I'm back up. And so we're changing the route today. And we are turning right and uh, heading out towards Middleburg today. Um, we're actually, we've just climbed almost to the top of our, our climbing for the day. And then we are going to be heading down, 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 down into, into Middleburg. Um, hopefully for a Seattle coffee. And should be a nice fast day. So we're looking forward to having a, a great time and we'll catch up with you guys on the ride. Yeah. This is hard stone to ride on, guys. Focus. One of the things that really spoke to, to me uh, yesterday, and it was a great lesson that we learned yesterday, was just how riding in order, um, you know, as we rode together, um, we had such protection in, in the way we rode together. You know, we were managed, we were, we were riding, giving up our self-nature of, of wanting to uh, go fast down a hill or skid out here or do anything or ride fast and climb here and really show off our own, you know, self-nature that we wanted. We all put that down and as we put that self down um, for the collective together, we rode uh, in protection and so we had a wonderful day of riding together I think there were lots of lessons learned yesterday for a lot of the new girls how to ride uh, in a bunch and um, and it was great so they really had a, had a great day yesterday I'm just actually just praising God while being on the bicycle it's amazing how we can have encounters and all of us have really truly been desiring and expecting to have God encounters and it's not just in the sessions that we have with Pastor John but to actually be mindful of his presence, I mean, I, rem I remember Pastor John recently reminding us of how we should be aware of our angels. And, um, and so it's just, we've, we've really had divine protection this whole trip. We pray every morning before we leave as a collective team. And um, we've really been having some very special evenings with Pastor John. That's definitely a highlight for many of us on a trip like this because it's very much about the spiritual component. And everybody's doing so well in the bunch. We've had a really fast section. Lots of fun riding at about 30 k's an hour for about 15 k's, 10 k's. And now we're coming up past the corner mine here. And you can see the mine on the left. And yeah, we're riding really nicely.
Well, we just came from Dolstrom and um, we came to Seattle in Middleburg now. We are very tired, um, but it's, good. it's time for a lack of coffee now. Yeah, dirt everywhere. And I'm sweating so much. <laughs> this is what happens when you ride at the back of the group. You inhale a lot of dust. Come on, we're going to get a little That was great. <laughs> Culminates the end of our tour, uh, three days of, of riding back to back which has been going to be a great breakthrough actually for a lot of these youngsters in their cycling. Um, it really riding back to back really trains your legs really well and it conditions you very quickly to being able to get into biking and get into cycling. How was the ride Caitlin? <laughs> it was so good though. Yeah, very fun. Look at this pretty face. <laughs> that normally is not there, which is because of the nice dust that we had on this amazing ride. That's what you get when you hide behind Otto. <laughs> <laughs> Well here we are at the end of our short little jaunt away to go cycling and today we've done, we did 65 k's and we had quite a lot of uh, up and down and we had some 4x4s that had to, 4x4s that had to get some uh, um, overlanding stuff done but in the end we got here and we did it. I must say that the thing that's really special about this whole event and as always is that we give our first relationship to the Lord and we give our second relationship to each other and there's, there's a great deal of relational growth both with the Lord and with people that happen on trips like this. We get to find out things about each other that you wouldn't have known before and you have conversations that you wouldn't normally have and you share things about the Word and you share things with the Lord that are just amazing. So these, these kind of trips away, although they centered around an event, uh, uh, an activity like cycling, actually the real good stuff happens when you're talking on the bike, off the bike, at dinner, at lunch, just different places all the time people are having great conversations. So for me this is a wrap, having had a wonderful time with, with the people, sharing the word and uh, I'm looking forward to the next time. What are you doing? What are the look like doing, Tash? You're racking no. a bike. I'm racking bikes, yeah. I'm putting it on, uh, back to mill, back to wood bank now, so putting the bikes on, on top of mass car, uh, so we can get things going. Sweet. It was an amazing adventure, both on the bike, off the bike, the cold at night, the round the fire. You guys are amazing and awesome and wonderful. And I'll see you in church awake tomorrow. <laughs> No sleeping in church tomorrow. So have a good rest, have a good shower, see you tomorrow. soul power in a, in a pressure moment, the soul power can be very strong because you want to revert back to the things that are, that are normal to, in a, in a way to behave when pressure is on. But you have to, if your spirit man has been fed, then your spirit man will come strong every time. To your point, Inca, to your point, in a pressure moment, you want to lead with your soul because you used because that it's easy to lead with your soul, mm -hmm. but you have to make a choice to let your spirit man speak. Yes, yeah. to, to be the dominant force. Yeah.